Wait, y'all got fired? What, wait, what happened? <laughs> I <got> fi <laughs> fired up. Bro. What did you do? <laughs> he came, Ziggy's place, uh. gave us our pay, and then said, I'm gonna have to let you go. go like, <laughs> Have you guys ever been fired? Uh, I've been let go. True. Hmm? Like, Scout yeah. Tech, they let me go, but I also quit at the same time. Oh. Well, like, what, like, what do you mean by <laughs> let go? Right. Like, what does let go mean? Like, COVID. And they, oh, like, so, yeah. Well, we can't afford to really pay you. Fair oh, enough. no, I got let go. I got let go at two jobs I got let go. Okay. I got okay. let go at Bell. Then I got let go at the uh, printing company. So I got let go of the printing company because they saw that I had no motivation in my work. Because oh, I was literally doing your nothing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't care though, you know. I was just like, yeah, I always have no motivation. You guys have me doing the same thing every single day, <laughs> True. you know, yeah. expecting different results. Like, no, it's not going to happen. And also, I think there was some discrimination because I just got cornrows too. Mm -hmm. And then literally like two weeks after, like two weeks in that whole period. So I got the cornrows and then two weeks... Two weeks later, I got fired. Or I got let go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they said so many things like, oh, I bet that gives you lots of street cred, you know? Wait, what? That's a bunch of, that's a bunch of racist people. Really a bunch of that. They said that? Yep. What does that even mean? Bro, I, okay, I know it's like, believe it's, that? it's been like a probably, like, it's been years now. But, like, oh, holy, f dude, I bet you could have yep. sued for that. Like, that's whack. Yep. Imagine if I was like this person, like this age you, now. Yeah, you oh done my it, yeah. goodness, dude. You Honestly, I just wanted. The frick's happening? Yeah, it was <laughs> Anime North weekend, you know. So I just wanted to like get out of there. Yeah. And head on over to Toronto. True. Yeah, we had a good, good and, weekend uh, there. <laughs> we don't talk about that. And then, uh, <laughs> and then Bell. Yeah, same thing. I just, I didn't, I wasn't performing well because I just lost interest. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that was it. Was fair. That was a fair, fair one. And, uh, yeah, I gotta let go. Wait, so, wait, so, sorry, what happened with Bell? Um, I wasn't performing well. Oh, it was, it, cause it was, like, commission-based anyway, right? Yeah. So if you're not hitting your commission, like, your, your goals for the week or whatever it is, then, yeah, that makes right. sense. That's kind of, like, what happened with when I was door-to-door. -door. I guess I've been let go, too. Yeah. But, yeah, when I was working door-to-door, -door, they paid us hourly, so it was kind of chill. <laughs> but, yeah, um, no, yo, oh, you got paid hourly? What the heck? Yeah, I got paid hourly. Oh. Um, right. But we had like once we got out of like our training phase, we had goals to meet um, right. per week. And uh, I remember the guys like, "Yo, like, um, try to get something today, and then if you don't like hit it today, then tomorrow I'll come and help you, and I'll like sell for you, so that we can hit your goal right. and be good." I'm like, "All right, sweet." And then um, I'm doing my thing. I'm just walking around, knocking on doors, and there's like an hour left in our shift, and he calls me. And he's like. Oh, um, you actually have to hit that goal by today. I'm on my way. I'm like, what the frick? Bro. <laughs> Are you serious? Like, they, I would have knocked on more doors. Yeah. <laughs> so he came, he was trying real hard, got nothing. And then he said, yeah, well, I mean, you got to go. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting to cost cold. The Get the, the out of here. What fucking one? I was like, oh, well, this job sucked anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> shit. Uh, but yeah, I would never do door to door again. That's just, that's just, that's no. I just can't, man. It's the most annoying type of sale, right? Like yeah. Sale, yeah. sales is whatever in a set. Like retail sales is one thing. Then there's like yeah. cold calling sales, which is like a little, like, annoying in a sense. And then there's freaking door to door, like at the <laughs> bottom of the list. That's probably the worst sale, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's so hard. intrusive because you have to go into other people's lives yeah, and literally yo, ring their doorbell. Actually, and talk to them. Yo, and yep. people yep. don't want to. Like, I don't even like answering my door in the first place. Like, exactly. I don't want to answer my door and have to talk to y'all about yeah. like being, you know, tr ugh, whack. Plus, they don't want any of that shit half the time. But yeah, and then so I, it, anyway, the, when I was doing it, it was summertime, and it was during the freaking World Cup. So I'm knocking oh, on I people's doors while that. they're watching the World Cup that happens every yeah. four years. And they have to get up yeah. and listen to my ass, make them sad about kids that are dying. Oh. And hopefully they pay me monthly for it. Whack. Y'all have been COVID. friends for like 30 years. How do you know? 
How do you still have new stuff to tell each other? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think about that's that true. sometimes, but it's true. It's true. Yo, maybe we've told each other everything and we just recycle it for you guys. Yeah, maybe we just yeah. forget. Oh. <laughs> you just probably forget, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard that story from you. During the World Cup door to door? Yeah, I, I've definitely Rough. said it aloud a few times. I don't know who I've told. But yo, I've, take... I've, I've heard the story, not the World Cup part, but yeah. yeah. But like taking like the, yeah. how the structure was, right? It wasn't like, because it, was it was for a hospital. So it wasn't like I was going there and being like, hey, we were just looking for donations and I have to hit like a certain donation goal per week. It was like, yo, um, for like 25, like a couple quarters to a dollar a day. You could sign up for this monthly plan, dude, <laughs> and oh, it'll help kids. <laughs> okay. It's like, yo, imagine, right. imagine this clean-shaven, freaking, like, seventeen-year-old kid coming to your door and telling you <laughs> what you should spend your money on, or like, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh man. But yeah, no. It was go, get out, get out my property. It was wild. <laughs> I remember one dude. Get out my property. One dude got so <laughs> cheesed. One dude was like, I think. I don't remember what time we finished work, but it we start we, like I think we got a text and said like oh go for like another hour or something, so it was like yeah. seven p.m. maybe maybe like whatever, and um we we we're, we knock on the doors me and this this girl, and we're both kind of still in Boots. training. Sorry. Yeah, we're both <laughs> both kind of still in training, and we knock on this dude's door, and this dude starts giving us shit. All right, time for this championship bullshit. Like saying like, oh, you can't knock on people's doors this late, blah blah blah. If like, if I want to donate to a charity, I'll just do it myself. If people like <laughs> bug me about it, then I put them on my do not donate list. I was like, whoa, dude, I'm like way too young to care right now. <laughs> but my shift is like <laughs> over 30 minutes ago. Can you stop harassing me? I think we just <laughs> walked away at some point. It was just like so so bad. Jesus. I remember some days I got dinner. I got hot chocolate, I got scarves. Oh no, yeah. You know, Some I met days. some really, really nice people too, man. And I would tell them, be straight up. Listen, like hell people slammed their doors in my face today, but yeah. you're the one who actually gave me the time to speak to me. I appreciate you. True, True. yeah. Zuki, yeah. search your mind. What were you gonna say? Uh it was about freaking door to door shit. Oh, okay. Door. Oh yeah, you said you got like a lot of shit. The only thing I got once was a bottle of water because it was so hot outside. And this lady like mm. literally ran across the street and was like, yo, I don't want anything that you're selling or whatever, but it's so damn hot. Please take this water. I'm like, all right, kind of chill. <laughs> so I had that, nice. but yeah, I had nothing else. Ooh. Did you, so did you, I was going to ask, did you get like tracked or anything like where you were? Uh, no, but when I was working as a pest control technician, I did. Oh yeah, you yeah, did. I forgot about pest control. Pest control. Pest control. <laughs> yo, yeah. is that you... the mosquito one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mosquito buzz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that job was it was pretty chill i just didn't like the driving but yeah i just yeah. drove all over the all over the gta and just went in people's backyards and sprayed their foliage man that's all i did yeah. got in the car <laughs> and went to the next house just went sprayed their bushes man that's it some people's bushes need it though true that's all i'm saying yeah being tracked stunk bro plus i'm like... still wondering why lanto's co-workers were talking about his street cred when moose obviously have the most street cred <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro man, I, yeah. i'll never yeah, i'll never forget that man i learned a lot from that job man i learned exactly what people are capable of at that job that was the beginning Damn. yeah just like being rude and shit is that what you mean yeah like that was was like damn this is real mm -hmm.